stay out of sight. vigilant here.
There you are. Am I interrupting? This is where I used to practice sparring with my father. After he retired to the fishing business, he lost interest. But I kept up the practice on my own. Doesn't training on your own get lonely? Are you trying to goad me into a sparring match, mercenary? I might be interested in some friendly competition. I... don't think that's a good idea. Are you scared, Athenian? I just... fine. Let's bar.
Let's see what you've got. That all you've got? I'm just getting started. Filthy Spartans. Timothus, are you okay? You fought well, Athenian. Timotheus? Timotheus! What are you doing? I... No! Stop! Stop! No! No! Stay back! Get away from me! I'll stay back, I promise. I don't know what I'll do if you get too close. You're not going to hurt me, Timotheus. You don't... You don't know that. I don't know if I could stop myself right now. Even if you did try to hurt me, I'm more than capable of fending you off. That's not... You're underestimating what I'll do when this happens. Timotheus. No, no, no! Stop! Stop! Just calm down. Like it's that fucking easy! You're safe, Timotheus. I promise. I need to be alone right now. I... I'm sorry. Alkibiades, you look like you're having fun. <gasps> the gods work fast. I wished someone as beautiful as me were here, and you arrived. You're drunker than normal. You'll have to forgive me. At this time of night, I like to get to the point when I have a pretty face staring back at me. You do realize the sun is out, right? Yes, what about it? Starting a bit early, aren't you? Starting? No, no! This is ending in the most spectacular fashion. Another successful party, then? The only kind I know. Although I have a slight problem. There's an important politician here who really needs to get back home. But gods know I can't make the trip. I'll make sure he gets home safe. Yes, safe. Right, it should be an easy trip, although you may have to carry him at this point. Lucky man. You could let him stay here. I would, but it's never good to let a politician stay the night. It's a rule of mine. I'm surprised you have rules. Oh, you know how they can be. Never want to stop talking. There's only so much I can take. But for you, I'd break all of my rules. What has he done to be so special? Well, he, uh... It was something to do with people, I think. <laughs> Gods, I don't know. You may as well ask me what I ate ten days ago. So... you party often? As often as I can. I'm not sure how you do it. Practice, practice, practice! The more I do, the better chance of having a clearer head than those around me. So you're looking to gain an advantage? Over my allies? Never! <gasps> Actually, let's not talk about such things. I'll try to get the politician home before he completely passes out. Wonderful! Uh, just take him north of the port of Piraeus. His home is somewhere around there. <laughs>
Come on. Now the world is spinning and bouncing. Really, where he lives? Ah, it's exactly like we were told. Get him! He's in my sights! Someone would want to kill you? I'm a politician. Could have been anything. Thank you, Mr.
Hippocrates. It's good you're here. Is it? Look around you. Athens is dying. What do you think is going on? I don't know. What I do know is that he kills without discrimination. Rich, poor, philosopher or farmer. And I'm helpless to stop it. What's happening to the victims? Leaking, postulant rashes, raging fevers, pallid, sweaty skin. I find many dying in their own excrement. Is there nothing that can be done? I try and ease the suffering where I can. The plague is spreading through the victim's excretions. I'm sure of it. The bodies must be burned. Your compassion for the people has always inspired me. Unfortunately, compassion is all I have to give. The gods have shown me how arrogant I had become. We're only mortal. And the gods like to remind us whenever they can. I need help burning the bodies, Cassandra. Fanatics are roaming the streets trying to stop me in my work. What fanatics? The followers of Ares. Superstitious fools. They believe burning the dead is sacrilege and attacked me. Can you believe it? These followers of Ares don't worry me. I'll help burn the bodies.
Another body safe from the fanatics. That's all of them. Sorry. Wait! Where? I'll be right back. See you at Aspasias. Sometimes I think you are too much like me. Aspasia. Oh, Cassandra. You returned to Athens. What's left of Athens? The world we've built is crumbling at our feet. It's as loud as a battlefield out there, and as violent. They're calling for Pericles' head, as though he should know how to handle this catastrophe. No one is prepared for the end of the world. I came to talk to you. I found out some things about my mother. Her name, her ship... Cassandra, it's not the time. Pericles is dying. He won't see me. He won't let Hippocrates in his room. He only babbles about going to his precious Parthenon. Pericles is a strong man. I'm sure he can fight the sickness. You heard the mob. He can't defend himself. He'll die with no glory. Athens has known him a lot longer than they've known this plague. He gave them a voice. His accomplishments will speak for him. <sighs> Pericles needs treatment, and the gods know he won't let me in. He respects you. Could you go to him? I could try. If you do, I will make the time to talk about your mother. For now, he needs your help. It's worth a shot. Sandra. Yes. Come in. It's embarrassing. Someone so strong seeing me like this. You look healthy as ever. Tell Aspasia that. She won't worry so much about me. 
I brought your drugs. Ah, yes. It's usually Phoebe who does the delivering. At least I'm alive. Though I can't say the same for my city. It's a shadow of what it was. Well, it will belong to Cleon now. He will have to lift it out of its sorry state. Ah. Ah. I wish to see it with my own eyes. Come to the balcony. Much has changed. I can't even stand up straight to look death in the eye. You'll recover sooner if you let Hippocrates see you. It's my time. The plague chooses no favorites. I fear I've failed Athens. Its people? Aspasia? No, you haven't. Ah, you're kind, but I've lost. Aspasia needs protection, as does Athens. I thought I gave enough to Athena, but it seems it isn't so. I should be out there, on the streets. You'd be overtaken. There are mobs, and Cleon's doing nothing to calm them. Thank the gods, Cleon won't see me like this. But that's all I can thank the gods for. They've turned on me. It's not the gods' fault. It's the world. It's turned upside down. Athens' fate is decreed. All we can do now is wait. You should go back inside. You need to rest. Where I should be is in the Parthenon. My greatest legacy to Athens. We need the gods' blessing. But Aspasia... Aspasia's right. She often is. But not about this. Yes. I'll go inside. Thank you, Cassandra. Tell my Aspasia I was a good boy and took my drugs. I will. Pericles let me in. He took his drugs without complaint. Thank you. Something wrong? I expected Phoebe back by now. I saw her in the crowds outside. Did you send her somewhere? I had her go to Anastasios to see about a ferry. As soon as Pericles is strong enough, we're leaving Athens. We have to. But now she's missing. I'm sure she's all right. Aspasia, there's a plague. You've seen the streets. She's just a child. Give her the credit she deserves. She's more of a fighter than I was at her age. I told Pericles the cult is in Athens. It's too dangerous. The cult? I thought it was the sickness talking. I'm going to look for her. Where is Anastasios' house? It's across from the Odeon of Pericles. Here. This looks like the place.
happened here? I'm glad Phoebe wasn't here. Hopefully she's safe. Demos must be carrying through on his threat. This was savage. Done to send a message. Earth, mother of all, I greet you.
Cassandra! Are you all right? I need to speak to Aspasia. We must find Pericles first. He's missing. I don't fucking care! Tell me where Aspasia is! Cassandra! I'm sorry, Phoebe. Aspasia went to find Pericles at the Parthenon. She should be there. I think we'd better go with her. I agree, my friend, I agree. Spasia knew the danger, and she still sent you. I'm sorry, Phoebe. You didn't deserve this. Where? There you are, Cassandra. Quickly, Pericles may be inside. What's gotten into you? Phoebe is dead. She's dead because you sent her to do your work! No, I... It's not true. Phoebe wanted to go. She told me she would be all right. And you believe that child? You know Phoebe. She wouldn't have taken no for an answer. It was out of my hands. Out of your hands? You sent her away! You could have protected her! What I asked of her was needed to protect Pericles. She lived to help others, Cassandra. She lived to help you. It's a tragedy. She should be here. Of course she should. But you know the cost of living this life. I do. But did Phoebe? Aspasia, you're here. Any sign of Pericles? If he's here, he's inside praying. He refused to stay safe in the villa. Things have gotten even worse in the Agora. It's madness. Speak later and act now. Pericles... Go! All is lost now. He was a great man. Perhaps greater than we even knew. We need to get her out of Athens. We'll take my ship. We have to leave. Don't let him die in vain. Never.
have to move quickly. Stay close, just in case. Stop! Cleon has ordered that no one leave Athens. And he wants Aspasia brought to him. I'm not going. Leave! Don't let them go. I enjoy this. going to stay, Cassandra. What? Why? My work is here. I can't leave the Athenians in the state they're in. You don't need us to protect Aspasia. Leave Athens to us. The city has been taken. This isn't the Athens you used to know. That is why I must stay. We must begin again. <sighs> You're sure? I have lived as an Athenian, and I will die as an Athenian. Then do something for me, both of you. Of course. Retrieve Phoebe's body. Give her a proper burial. Everything she deserves, and more. Thank you. Time to go, Cassandra. And I expect to see you both again, alive. The farther we get from Athens, the quieter it grows. As though it's peaceful. But I know better. I'm sorry, Aspasia. About Pericles. And Athens. You have no need to apologize. For anything. I did everything I could to keep people safe. No one thinks otherwise, Cassandra. The cult of Cosmos simply had a plan we didn't see soon enough. And they struck when the time was right. About Phoebe? No, allow me. Phoebe was my responsibility. I should have kept her closer to me. It was a mistake. No, I wanted to apologize. It wasn't your fault. I'm sorry. Yet another murder to the cult's credit. I'll make each of them beg for mercy before I kill them. The time will come. For now, let us look to the future. Do you have a heading? I was hoping you would help me with that. Yes, of course. This woman, Phoenicas. Her ship was called Siren Song. Phoenicas. Yes, I know the name. Last anyone heard, her ship was docked on the island of Naxos. <sighs> then we go to Naxos to see Phoenicas. <laughs> 